We are searching for Jesus to save you. It is too late. An angel over there denied this maiden access into the golden gate. It appears they do not know the daughter of whom she is. Do you know where the Savior is? It is too late. And who are you? You look like me, but you are superior to me. I feel like I know you before. But I'm afraid you look too mean to be the friend I once knew. Are you who I think you are? Can you tell that angel to let her in? It is too late. She was born into a Christian family. Her father is the founder of the Church of Christ. The kingdom of God is at birth right. Show me the Savior. It is too late. Oh, you are not getting it. I served under our father in the ministry. If anyone should miss heaven, it should be me, not her. She sits at her father's right hand. In fact, when she stands up from her seat in the church, we rush to her chair to tap the grace of her father. She is above the law. It is an honor for me to even hold her hand and stand here. Please tell those angels who she is. It is too late. Did you hear that sound? Did you hear that sound? If they close that gate, she is lost forever. If they close that gate, she will spend eternity in hell. If they close that gate, what will I tell the church? Please, tell those angels to let her in. It is too late. Then I trade my salvation for her soul. I give my salvation for her. Let me perish in her stead. She is too young to go to hell. I give up my own salvation. It is too late. No matter how anointed you are, you cannot delegate salvation. Salvation is personal. You sit at your father's side and you are practically worshipped by the church. But you do not know me. Should I let you into the golden gate? Because you were born into a Christian family? What about those born into Muslim families? Should I reject them? Am I not just? Only those who have a personal relationship with me will enter the kingdom of God. In heaven's record, there are no bishop's daughter or Geo's sons, only the redeemed. You look white on the outside, but black on the inside. On the 2nd of April, a Sunday school teacher introduced you to Jesus the Savior. But you told him you felt insulted that your father was a bishop. And the following week, you took an abortion pill and lost your life. You lost your only chance of knowing the Savior. And you come here looking for the Savior, but it is too late. My countenance is sad and my tone is harsh. The friend you once knew was a Savior, but now the judge of the world. For it is time for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with you, what will be the outcome of those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinners? How terrible it will be for the people of the world. I know you will say to me that no one ever preached to you. I know you will say to me that no one ever introduced you to the gospel. But I will say to you when you stand before me, I was announced to you on Facebook. I was announced to you on TikTok. I was announced to you on YouTube. I was announced to you on Google, on Instagram. I was announced to you on Twitter. I was announced to you through your phones, since that is where you now live. In a family of six, only three will make it. In a family of three, only one will be taken. Hear the sound of salvation now and be saved. Hear the sound of salvation now and be saved. Hear the sound of salvation now and be saved. But your time on earth is so brief. Where will you spend your eternity? Where will you spend your eternity? 
many will come to me and I will say to them it is too late it is too late it is too late